just about sailing August 2021. This is the video that should have happened last month, but anyway. Uh, the task here is, remember this hole that was in the boat, or I'd actually crashed the boat into um, a dock, and it was the only bit that didn't have any rubber around it. It was completely unprotected, made a big crack, which actually went all the way through. And then I had to cut out the patch, and then I fiberglassed it. This is actually better than I remember in terms of smoothness, but obviously the, the issue now is to try and colour match it. Um, rather than have to paint the whole boat, because a lot of people have said, oh, are you going to paint the whole boat now? No, I don't want to paint the whole boat. So this video is about two attempts that I've made to match the colours. The first, which I thought might work, but really didn't, and then the second, which proved to be a lot better. So, you can either watch this video, or actually, I suppose I could do what um, Maz on Sail Life does, and I think he does, let me see if this works, you kind of do this, um, this thing. Right, so here we are in the future. <laughs> Not perfect, much better than I thought I could. I had to compromise in the end between two different colours. You can probably see it, that's the join of the paint. Um, I've kind of polished that all up a little bit to make it look as nice as possible. But anyway, there we are, simple. All you've got to do is click your fingers. Um, and, and that's the answer. So, uh, <coughs> anyway, that's the end of the video for this month. So, so thank you very much. Actually, I must just get back to real time. I'm not quite sure how this thing works. Hopefully, if I click my fingers again, that's not going to undo it. No, that, that, wouldn't, have, that wouldn't have been any fun at all, would it? So the first thing, um, <laughs> would have made for a very short video. Uh, the first thing I need to do is actually find out what colour blue my boat is because it's very oxidised. Not so much on this side because this is the, the bit away from the sun where it's been put up. The sun tends to be sort of over there. Um, and luckily my uh, apprentice who gets paid in chocolate is actually on shore leave or has had a bit of shore leave. So let's actually do some work, see what colour blue it is and then see if we can match it and then take it from there. Okay. What this is going to do, this is probably not the best time to film this, but what this is going to do is to deoxidize the back of the boat. It really is badly oxidized. And see if we can, and you can see the color changing just so moving around. See if we can get back to the original shine and then match it. And you get to play with a toy, don't you? A I've dangerous, got, well. I've got a whirly round toy and I've got loads of co cutting compounds. Excellent. So Excellent. I need to get the. Um, I need to get the hardware off of this and then Lucy can stand on the ladder and have a go at doing that. Sorry, it wasn't windy just now so I didn't bring the other microphone out so um, you might be able to see. I've done the bottom bit here, bottom little bit, just to test it because Lucy didn't want to be blamed in case it all went wrong. And now this is a serious bit because this is for chocolate. So you did that? Yeah. Don't know how much to do with one section. Don't know. Like that much? Like there's a blob, there's a blob, there's a blob, and then two more. Yeah, yeah. See how it feels. It's difficult to see if you can get a dry bit, a non-blue non bit. A non-what? A non-blue bit of cloth. Oh, I thought you meant a <laughs> Yeah, a non-blue bit of serenity. <laughs> it's blue now. Yeah. 
So point to the line between where you've done it and where it is, because I don't know if this is coming out of the camera, because it's so... Yeah, so everything above that hasn't been done, and the stuff below it has. Does that come out on the camera? So Dad did it's... below that arm. Yeah. I did below that arm and to the left of that arm. Yeah. I mean, yours looks exactly the same as... Well, that's mine. good. So guess who forgot to switch the microphone on? I'm basically saying, look, you can see the two different blues here. That's the bit that's been deoxidized, and the other bit on the other side is as it was. Huge difference. I think that Serenity is somewhere in between these two colors, which is sapphire, whoops, sapphire blue. No, <laughs> I've got the wrong way around. Sapphire blue and Danube blue. And I, and I decided this ages ago. The trouble is, if you look at the colour at the swatch in the, in the book, that's sapphire blue, that's Danube blue, or one of these sample cards, that's sapphire blue, that's Danube blue, or the actual paint cans, that's, <laughs> you guessed it, sapphire blue, Danube blue. They're all completely different. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm hoping that, that Serenity is somewhere between these two colours. So what I'm going to do, I've made up a sheet of fiberglass, just a couple of layers of fiberglass, and I've painted it with um, some of the primer. I'm going to cut these squares out, and then I'm going to cut a circle in each square, and then I'm going to add a different mix to, I need 11 of these, so I'm going to do them in 10% graduations from 100% of one colour, 10%, 10%, 10% to 100% of another colour, which works out to 11, um, and then see if my theory is right, and if it is roughly in between those two colours. I really don't know if this is going to work. So there we go, that was all very straightforward. I've got now 11 of those with a hole in. <laughs> and I need to mix up paint. I'll just do it. Right, so I have my graduated syringes. I've got my schedule of ratios. And I, I haven't written which colour on either because it doesn't really matter as long as I start with one and then finish on the second one because it's it's all parallel obviously because of the way that anyway you get that and 11 numbered things mini stir sticks for each one opener two cans of paint stirrer for the big paint and um <laughs> all this fuss and it's probably not even probably not even a valid thing to try and do Right, no need to, sh to, to show all that, but I've got the um, this colour, whatever that is, sapphire blue, I think. In terms of millilitres, 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, because this one is going to be full of the other one. Now I'm going to go the other way round um, and put in the other colour. Right, I've got a brush. I've got pot number one. I've got thing with a hole in it, number one. Um, so this is the pure colour. I think this is sapphire blue, can't remember. It's all written down somewhere. Wouldn't it be funny if it was one of these main colours and I didn't need to go through all this palaver? <laughs> and number two, which of course is only a tiny bit different. So it probably looks about the same and the colour balance is not going to be very good as I say because the light is awful in here at the moment. And number three, I think you're going to get the drift now. So if you want a really good job Oops, I didn't want to get paint on that. Uh, pay a professional to do it. If you want a cheap, decent job, just spend a lot of time and try and do it yourself. Right, the lighting has gone really bad because it's actually started to rain. 
um, but I think you can see there's a kind of a lighter different type of blue graduating down to a sort of a, a darker but it's not just light and dark it's completely different color um, I think one coat might be enough actually that's gone on really thickly and really nicely so I'm gonna let that dry tomorrow the Sun's supposed to be shining I'm gonna give the um, the transom another polish up and um, see if we're anywhere near. I can actually see Serenity out of the window from where I am, but it's an oxidized hull, so it kind of looks white rather than blue. I can't actually see the back. I'm guessing, let me make a guess already. I think it's that one. I think it's gonna be number five. Right, surprisingly difficult to um, video this, and it is quite windy, but this was a disaster. Is number 10. Nine. Eight. So I'm moving about because of different reflections. Because obviously, you, uh, <laughs> there's nothing obvious about it. Don't mind saying, obviously. Seven. They possibly even look closer on the video camera than they do in real life, but in real life, they're not matching at all. That's a six, which I was thinking was to be fair. And I think the next one is it a five? This is the one I thought would be the most likely candidate. It's, it's just not there. It's just not there at all. Four. So this is kind of when we're going towards the other colour. Those two colours just weren't balancing. Uh, two. I'm not a very good judge of, you know, I chose, perhaps I chose the wrong two colours in, in the first place. Looking at this on the screen, that looks more similar than it does in real life. In real life, it's completely different. So what I did then is I had a bit of a play around um, and mixed another colour, sapphire blue, in and got that, which is a bit closer, but not really. And then I tried a colour which I thought was roughly the same, and then I mixed varying degrees of white and that's the best I could get to. None of them, none of them worked. So I thought there was a strong possibility of this not working and it's not worked. So there is another option. So let's have a look at what the other option is. Whenever I cut anything off of the boat, whether it's wood or fiberglass, so for example, those are, there's a bit of the um, textured, non-slip treading surface uh, from when I did to cut the holes for the um, the windlass. Uh, I never throw anything away. Uh, that's I think the through hull for the drain locker and this is the bit that I cut out for the actual thing that I'm trying to paint over. Now I've contacted a company, I've forgotten what they're called actually but I'll put, a, put their names up here and a link down there. And I said, look, if I send you something, can you match the colour? Um, and not only can they match the colour, but if it isn't an actual approved normal colour, they can probably make something up. But what they needed was a decent size, and I think this is only just big enough to actually put their spectral analysis machine on it. So I'm gonna send this off and see if I can actually get colour matched up, which is probably what I should have done in the first place. It's actually, to get the colour match is a free service. You obviously pay for the paint. So. <laughs> anyway, it was fun trying it the other way, but it just didn't work. So let's see if I can get this matched up. I'll send this off. Uh, it might delay this video coming out a little bit, but I'll put it all together as one video. So at least you've had the what not to do, and hopefully, I've got my fingers crossed here, hopefully what to do. So I'll send that off, see what happens. I can't emphasize how difficult it is to actually get these things to get the color in real life or particularly on camera this that's the one I thought was going to be a match that's the that's the one I thought was mixing the two colors together and it really isn't the one that the computer chose but then adjusted because of the yellow underneath is this one and that looks very vibrant but it's definitely in real life, there's, there's definitely a kind of serenity colour to that. And then the one that the computer went to 
is this one, which here I think looks completely different. I'm not sure how it's coming out on camera, but in real life, that's, that's definitely the closest. It's really weird how these things, depending on how the sun is catching them, completely change colour. So that's the one I'm going to use. That's the vibrant one. And that's as close as I could get with matching the colours. So, the computer and the spectrograph, spectrometer, whatever it's called, has it. That's what I'm going to go for. And I think when everything's polished up, because the trouble is Serenity never looks the same colour twice. It's like those horses in The Wizard of Oz, isn't it? They keep changing colour. I think that was cruel, by the way. I don't think they should have done that. Because we, we know it wasn't CGI'd then. We know they were actually painting horses. Not good. Anyway, sorry, getting off topic a little bit. That's the one I'm going to go with. So I'm going to get this area all cleaned up. Sand it down, feather this out quite a bit, and then see what happens. A coat of primer on now. I'm going to do everything with the brush. Do a coat of primer, another coat tomorrow, and then I've got about four days before I go off for a week, so it's going to get a coat every day, and then I'm going to leave it and then come back and see what I'm going to do with it. So, this is not a DIY channel, I keep on saying that, so don't copy me because I've got no idea if I've done this right. I could have done it better, I can even feel when I was cleaning this over, yeah there are a few little bits which aren't perfect, but given the time that I've got, um, and given the way the weather's going, this is what, this, anyway this is what I'm going to do, so that's it, this is what I'm going to do. Right, so this probably looks the same, but I've painted it, I've sanded it off at the edges a little bit, and now it's time for the first coat. Well, it's most definitely blue and shiny, and I don't know what it's going to dry like, but I can't imagine it's going to, I'm going to ever get a better colour that's better match than that. Right, they say it's always darkest before the dawn. Looking at the screen, this doesn't look too bad. In real life, it looks really bad. That's the new paint from there to there in case you can't see it from there to there, yep. And I've sanded it out a little bit further, so from there to there. What I did in the end, and that's absolutely smooth, I can feel no difference going from the old to the new. This isn't perfect, this is far from perfect. Um, with, with a lot more time I could do that better, but I don't have a lot more time and I don't have a lot more energy, so... Um, what I did is I did 400, followed by 600, followed by 1200, followed by 7000. And actually, in retrospect, I should have done the sanding, the wet and dry sanding, before I tried doing the, um, the cutting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the electric buffer out and I'm going to buffer and cut all of this. Probably in the, in the heavy stuff and then in the fine stuff. Um, and then I'm going to uh, polish it up and then I can put a wax on it, and that's as good as it's going to get. As I say, looking in there, it doesn't look too bad. It's only when you get really close that you can notice it badly, but hey ho, it's funny, because that, that, which is simply the normal paint sanded down a bit, that looks the worst, but when it's polished, when it's wet, that will look fine, <laughs> I think. I'm really not sure how to show you this, I'm going to kind of walk from 
back to front and that I think we can hopefully you can clearly see that. More from front to back maybe that would be easier. Yeah you can definitely see that it's darker. It was the choice I could have gone darker or lighter. So there we go. Um, better than I thought. Um, I think there were only three other things I could have done. Firstly, probably most importantly, is not crash the boat in the first place. Um, secondly, repaint the whole boat, <laughs> which I'm not going to do. And thirdly, I think the difference for the colour here, I think the colour is actually a very good match, but it's the print through from the yellow. Now when I talked to the paint company, they did, as I've shown before, show a brighter colour, which is probably a closer match. Um, compensating for that yellow. I could have, I suppose, done a yellow undercoat, but then I'd have had problems at the edges, so um, I don't know. I chose to go a bit darker rather than a bit lighter. Um, I could have possibly mixed those two together, but do you know what? That's fine. Um, I've waxed this little bit just to see how shiny it can get, and when she gets her next shore leave, hopefully I've got stacks of chocolate, Lucy's going to do the rest. So. That is the end of paint drying. Thank you if you stuck to the end of this video. Not a DIY video. None of them are DIY videos. Do not copy me. That's your own fault if you copy me and something goes horribly wrong. So anyway, see you in September, which is autumn, and I really need to finish the epoxy work on the anchor locker and stuff. Epoxy work, epoxy work. That's what it's all going to be all about next week, next month. <laughs>